Welcome back gamers from another Skyrim Remastered Let's Play. In this episode, we will be taking the carriage to Windhelm so we can go to Solstheim and see why those masked marauders were trying to murder my face off saying that there's only one true dragonborn when I was just revealed to be a dragonborn. So gamers, please strap in and enjoy this epic gameplay. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Where do you want to go? <laughs> Climb and back and we'll be off. Ever been to Windhelm? Oldest city in Skyrim by some account. They say the big old palace there was built by Ysgrimor himself. Alright, so now that we're at Windhelm, let's go look for that boat guy uh, that took those marauders across the ocean or lake, whatever the hell it is. Tending your hounds? You smell like a wet dog. The northern maiden is ship shape and ready to go. If you're looking for passage to Solstein, too bad. I'm not going back there anymore. Sure. Yeah, that's me. Why? Who sent you? Now hold on. That wasn't my fault. I didn't know they were going to attack anybody. I don't even know how I got here. It's hard to explain. I remember those people with the masks coming on board. Then... The next thing I remember... I was here. And they were gone. And that's not right, losing whole days like that. There's been something strange going on there for a while. But after this... I'm done. I'm not going back to Solstein. Have you been listening to me? I'm not going back there. All right, you have a point. Taking you back to find out who sent them is the least I can do. Besides, maybe you can put a stop to whatever's going on over there. I owe them a bit of payback myself. Well, here we are. This is Ravenrock. Can't say I'm all that glad to see it again. Good luck. Maybe you can figure out what's going on around here. I've been sailing the Northern Maiden across the Sea of Ghosts for nearly 20 years now. Might be time to find a new home port, though, the way things are going around here. 
I don't recognize you. So I'll assume this is your first visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. State your intentions. Mirak, I... I'm not sure that I do. Just remember, Ravenrock is sovereign territory of House Rederon. This is Morrowind, not Skyrim. While you're here, you will be expected to abide by our laws. Any questions? I... I'm unsure. I swear I know the name, but I cannot place it. I don't think so. I'm not... The, the name has something to do with the Earthstone, I think, but I'm not sure what. I... I'm unsure. I don't think so. I'm not... I have to be. A second counselor? The security of Raven Rock is my primary concern. This isn't exactly the city of Blacklight. We're on the frontier out here. And we've had more than a fair share of troubles. After all we've been through together, I refuse to let Councillor Morvain down. Councillor Morvain is House Redoran's representative on Solstein. As second councillor, it's my job to support him and make certain his rule is enforced. Ravenrock started out as an Imperial settlement. But the Empire decided to abandon it, just as my people were first setting foot here. They left the town a shambles, but when House Redoran took over, we turned it around, and it became ours. And even if it's been a struggle to make this island livable, we're proud to call it home. Your ignorance of our homeland doesn't surprise me. It's the capital of Morrowind. Been that way ever since Mornhold was sacked by the Argonians. I don't visit there often anymore, but we still get the occasional supply ship and visitors from there. Quite a while ago, yes. They cut a bloody swath across most of the southern region of Morrowind. Nobody seems certain why it happened. An attempted expansion? Revenge for the enslavement of their people? Or perhaps both? Whatever the case may be, thousands of Dunmen needlessly lost their lives. And many more were exiled from their homeland. Jialan. If you're looking for I was starting to wonder what Captain Jialan. Uh... seem to be in quite the same state as the others here. What brings you to Ravenrock? Mirak, Mirak. It sounds familiar, and yet I can't quite place... Oh, wait, I recall. That makes very little sense. Mirak's been dead for thousands of years. I'm not sure, but it is fascinating, isn't it? Perhaps it has some relation to what's going on here. Quite unexpected. I'm afraid I can't give you any answers, but there are ruins of an ancient temple of Mirax toward the center of the island. If I were you, I'd look there. Building something, clearly. And yet they don't seem to have much to say about it. I'm very interested to find out what happens when they finish. Certainly not. Doing so would interfere with whatever is going on, and I would be unable to see how this all turns out. Now through them, the 
When the city of Vivek was destroyed, it took decades for us to rebuild. We are still but a shadow of our glorious past, but someday we will rise again. The world shall see. Hmm. And when the world that world will cease to be. Where do his That they have forgot. Here do we toil. That we might remember. Here you reclaim. could be unless of course you'd like to contribute to my investigation it could be very enlightening to observe you You haven't seen Crescius Corellius, have you? That foolish old man's taken my pickaxe again. No, 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 this isn't just your run-of-the-mill pickaxe. I'm talking about an ancient Nordic pickaxe. They don't exactly grow on trees, you know. Um, I prefer to handle these things on my own. Look, if you see Crescius, tell him to give me that pickaxe back, and I'll pay you for the trouble. No, I... wait... maybe... I don't know how I know that name. I... I'm not sure. I don't want to talk about this. It's the only tool tough enough to crack Stallrim, is what it is. Not many of those beauties left in the world. Forging them is a lost art. The one Crescius borrowed came from the Skull Village up north. I, uh, traded them some goods for it. Calling Stalrim an ore is like calling my forge a campfire. Some folks say it's enchanted ice, but I think there's more to it than that. I don't think I've come across more than a chunk or two in my lifetime, and smithing's my trade. If you're looking to learn more, you should head over to the Skull Village. Someone there's bound to know more about it than I do. You tell Crescius he better give that pickaxe back to me, or else. Looking for any potions? I don't think so, though it sounds like a name I've heard before. I hear that name, and I see a temple here on Solstheim. What could that mean? Yes, I'm proud to say that I grow or harvest most of it myself. I only wish I had a better source for Netch jelly. Those creatures are difficult to track down since it's so dangerous beyond the bulwark. That would be splendid. I'd be more than happy to give you something for the effort. So, you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Careful with those netches. They may look to you. They can seriously hurt you and threaten you. Miserable. Want to buy anything? Or to... 
I think I maybe had a dream about someone with that name. It was very strange. Was I building something? A shrine down on the beach near the Earth Stone? I'm not sure. Just what you see here. If you need any supplies, you know where to find me. This island's nothing but a foot. Last time you explored the mine, you almost fell to your death. I'm not spending the rest of my days as a widow. And I'm telling you that I'll do whatever it takes to find my great-grandfather's remains. He's down here. I can feel it. That was almost two centuries ago. There may be nothing left to find. Just let me go, woman. Precious, you're an obstinate old fool and you're going to get yourself killed. In the blazes are you? Can't you see I'm busy? Why should I tell you? I don't even know who you are. Hmm. Maybe. Been difficult trusting people lately. They think I'm crazy. But mark my words, these mines hold a secret that could put Raven Rock back on the map. A secret the East Empire Company swept under the rug two centuries ago. It killed my great-grandfather and left Raven Rock with a worthless and tainted mind. You never heard of them? They're the largest trading company in Tamriel, originally chartered by the Emperor of Cyrodiil himself. Gratian Kyrelius. He spent his entire life exploring ancient ruins across Tamriel died in these very mines almost 200 years ago. The East Empire Company called it a terrible accident, claiming that he was lost in a rockfall, but I know better. My wife and I were cleaning out our home, and we came across some of my great-grandfather's things locked in an old chest. I found an unsent letter he'd written to the East Empire Company, and a key. It describes a discovery that was made in the mine by some of the diggers. They wanted Gratian to take a closer look. The East Empire Company must have felt it was of great value, as they locked that section of the mine off from everyone else. It is. Well, I assume it is. I haven't been able to find the entrance. Finally! Someone who believes me. I'm telling you, there's something big down there. Something that the East Empire Company wanted to hide from everyone. Look, my wife nags that I'm too old to go traipsing around these mines chasing my story. Time's my enemy. It's caught up with me before I could find the answers that I'm looking for. I do. I want to know what happened to Gratian. And what the East Empire Company is keeping from all of us. 
Gretchen kept a journal of notes about his discoveries. If you can find his remains, I'm hoping it will help. Here's everything I have. The letter, the key. Please, do this for me, so I can finally regain the respect that I've lost. Look, I know I don't have much to go on. I have that unsent letter, and that's really it. But I also have a miner's instinct that's run in my family from before Gratian was even born. I may sound like a crazy old man to you, but I'm telling you, the tunnels here are solid. They would never collapse like that. The damn fool doesn't even deserve to have it. The pickaxe was made for mining, not selling. I'll bet he stole it from the skull in the first place. Oh, very well. Here. Tell him I hope he drops a thing on his foot. Be careful down there. Mine can be treacherous. Try the lower section. I just wanted to remind that codger you can't just go around taking things from other people. Now that you've delivered the message, I'm satisfied. Besides, that pickaxe hasn't done me any good in years. Maybe you can put it to good use. A fine question, and the one that I hear most often from visitors to our town. I wish I had a more romantic tale to tell. But I was simply seeking my fortune and chose Raven Rock to ply my trade. Besides, knowing how to repair bone mold armor wasn't very useful in Riften. I had a friend over there, a dark elf named Van Reif, a very talented armor smith. Spent a lot of time with the guy swapping smithing techniques. Learned a heck of a lot, including how to repair bone mold. After he moved on to greener pastures, I decided to pack up Move out here and put those lessons to the test. Been here ever since. The finest weapons and armor.
bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll set up right.
probably 100% going to die here.
So, another seeker after knowledge enters my realm. I am Homeus Mora, Prince of Fate and Lord.
Oh wow. <clears throat> that kinda sucked gamers. They uh knocked me off the ledge. Let's try this again.
Glover Mallory's the name. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. You're back. Please, tell me what you found. Let me see that. Huh, I knew it. Gratian's death wasn't because of a rock fall. It was just a story to keep people away from the tombs. Now that I have his journal in hand, I can get some closure from the East Empire Company. Make them pay for lying to everyone. Thank you. Now, I believe I owe you a little more than a debt of gratitude for all that work you did. Here, it's not much, but it's the best an old retired miner can do. Mark my words. Raven... There was a time when this town went... Looking for any potions? Ingredients? Alchemical supplies? I work for Mokul. You've got a problem. You talk to him. It's busier now that things are starting to look up. I guess I might stay a... Mining gear? No. However, I used to sell East Empire pendants until I ran out of them. Popular little item. It's an amulet that was made exclusively for the East Empire Company. They gave them to their workers as an incentive at one point. A kind of reward for extra effort. They're no longer being made, so they've become a collectible. I'd love to get my hands on a few of them. Well, well. Seems you're proving fairly useful for an outlander. Here's your coin. Keep bringing me more, and I'll keep paying you for them. Take a look. East Empire pendants are scattered all over, so leave no stone for tonight. Alright gamers, this is where I draw this episode to a close. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Skyrim Remastered Let's Play brought to you by Blackfire Virus. In the next episode, we're going to be exploring more of Stolstein, so uh, hopefully you'll enjoy that, and stay tuned for more episodes brought to you by me in the future. Later gamers.